Now with the information that we got from the previous uh, lecture on the money market, we can draw the LM curve, which is the second central ingredient to the ISLM model, which is the basic model describing the macroeconomy in the very short run. First, we briefly recall the money market as we had it uh, previously. So we had the traditional view that's depicted in the left figure and the modern view depicted in the right figure. According to the traditional view, um, the initial equilibrium is where fixed money supply intersects, uh, intersects with uh, fixed money demand. So we have an interest rate I1 and money supply M bar uh, divided by P it's, is then the real money supply. If incomes increase, the money demand curve shifts upwards here and we have an intersection with the money supply curve at a higher interest rate. So in this traditional view, the interest rate adjusts and the money supply stays constant. In the modern view depicted on the right side, it's the opposite. The interest rate is fixed. That's what the central bank uh, actually aims for, a, a fixed interest rate and it adjusts the money supply. So if incomes increase from the old equilibrium here, I bar and M1 divided by P, and we get this new money demand that is higher, then the central bank would raise money supply in order to fulfill the new liquidity needs of households for the same old fixed interest rate, I bar. And now we will see that both of these views actually lead to different shapes of the LM curves that are associated with these equilibria in the money market. So first we start with the traditional view. In the left diagram, we always have the equilibria in the money market. And in the right diagram, we draw the associated LM curve now step by step in a diagram that uh, is drawn in the space of the interest rate on the vertical axis and income on the horizontal axis. Now, first of all, we see that there are two equilibria that we have here, one with a lower interest rate and one with a higher interest rate, and one with a lower uh, income level and one with a higher income level. The higher income level is associated with a higher interest rate and the lower income level with a lower interest rate. So we just project these two equilibria then into the graph uh, that we have in the space of the interest rate and uh, income. And we have that the low equilibrium uh, is associated with the low interest rate and low income and the high equilibrium, if you will, with a higher income level and the higher interest rate. And then we just connect the points to get the traditional LM curve, actually, which is upward sloping. Why is it upward sloping? Well, because higher incomes would lead to higher transaction needs and that would require a higher interest rate in order for the central bank not to have to increase its money supply. So if money supply and equilibrium money holdings should stay constant, then the increase in income must be associated with an increase in the interest rate. And that's actually the defining feature of an LM curve. So it's upward sloping. However, now we do the same for the modern view, where it's not the money supply that stays constant, but the interest rate, then we know already that an increase in money demand due to an increase in income leads to an increase in money supply by the central bank, such that we have uh, at the new equilibrium still the old interest rate that is constant, that's the interest rate that the central bank sets, but at a higher money supply. So we see it, the interest rate stays constant, money supply changes, and of course this leads actually to a flat uh, curve in this figure on the right hand side in the space of the interest rate and income. And this flat curve is now usually in textbooks also referred to as an LM curve. Actually, it might be better to call it a monetary policy curve or something like that because it depicts the reaction already of the central bank to the increase in the money demand and therefore it's flat while the standard LM curve and the defining feature of the LM curve is actually that it is upward sloping in this space. However, I nevertheless follow the convention in the standard textbooks such that uh, I do not cause any confusion and will also call this um, the LM curve uh, from now on. So to summarize, according to the traditional view, the LM curve is upward sloping. According to the modern view, the LM curve is horizontal which is then a slight abuse of uh, notation to call it an LM curve, but nevertheless, uh, 
uh, I do it uh, just to follow this convention in the following uh, chapters and following videos.